Dr. Ali Matu, Cognitive Behavioral Therapist, and I'm here today in collaboration with HBO to offer my take on themes of mental health in their shows. Today we'll focus on fragile masculinity and the stigma of mental illness through the lens of The Sopranos. Sopranos was ahead of its time. It featured a male character seeking out therapy after a series of panic attacks. Mr. Soprano? How you doing? And struggling with that treatment and with his own mental health in a very realistic way. This isn't gonna work. I can't talk about my personal life. Finish telling me about the day you collapsed. What I love about shows like Sopranos is they demystify that experience. Have a seat. And give you a better sense of what to expect in a therapy session. Anxiety attacks are legitimate psychiatric emergencies. Suppose you were driving and you passed out. Let me tell you something. Nowadays, everybody's gotta go to shrinks and counselors and go on Sally, Jesse, Raphael and talk about their problems. Many of us in our culture get the message that being strong means you can do it alone. I know myself, as a man, have had this message since I was a boy. You toughen up, you don't cry, you power through. Whatever happened to Gary Cooper? The strong, silent type. That was an American. Sopranos breaks the stereotype that strong men don't get help, while also showing us the ways in which masculinity can be toxic. Fragile masculinity or precarious masculinity is this idea that your status as a male is difficult to earn and easy to lose. It's about always being on guard. What's that, a trick picture out there? You think I want to trick you? Oh, no. What does that picture say to you? It says, hey, asshole, we're from Harvard, and what do you think of this spooky, depressing barn and this rotted-out tree we put here? Always testing each other as a man. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. You all right? You all right? You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs> when your status is challenged, you need to defend it. You don't know me, and you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Often through aggression or violence. And that is not what being strong means. What's happening is we're getting closer to you confronting your true feelings about what's really going on here. In 2019, the world is holding men to a higher standard. I've been seeing a therapist. Oh my God, I think that's great. I think that's so wonderful. I think that's so gutsy. All right, take it easy. Today, more men are recognizing that help is out there and they're getting it. No one I'm figuring out lately? Talking helps. That's right. That's right, he's right. The more we talk about these things, the easier it becomes. Ready? 